Okay, the next part is Jesus comparing the time of the days of Noah, the time of Sodom and Gomorrah, or the days of Lot, with the days of the future, when Jesus will come back. Now, as I said, it's not in Luke 21, it is in Luke 17. And I was this close to saying, no, I actually should move that passage from Matthew back to where it was first mentioned in Luke 17, because Luke usually goes in chronological order. I know Matthew commonly combines statements of similar subjects all in one place, even if they were said at different times, like the Sermon on the Mount. And the reason why I didn't, and I don't want to now, is because there are portions of this speech that Jesus gave in Luke 17 that I think actually don't belong here. And that is where he says, They shall say to you, See here or see there, go not after them, nor follow them. For as lightning that lightens out of the one part under heaven shines to the other part under heaven, so shall the Son of Man be in his day. But he must first suffer many things and be rejected of this generation. Those two verses, right, 24 and 25, it's also in that section of Matthew. So I moved those verses from Luke. Also, later on, verse 31, In that day he which shall be upon the housetop and his stuff in the house, let him not come down to take it away. He that is in the field, let him likewise not return back. That one verse is in Mark during the Olivet Discourse and in Matthew. So I was going to go with the majority witness that time as well. So the other verses of what I have left, as it was in the days of Noah, that is only here in Luke and in Matthew not in Mark. So if it was just that, those verses alone, I would move them from Matthew 24 out of the Olivet Discourse to keep them here in Luke 17. The problem with that is that here in Luke, this is all given as if it's one speech, as if this is one response from Jesus. So I think it would be wrong for me to take one verse or two or three or four and move it elsewhere out of Luke. I've done that before in Matthew for the Sermon on the Mount because Matthew commonly moves stuff and clumps them together, but Luke doesn't. At least he usually doesn't. This time I think he did. I think he took half of Jesus' all of the discourse and moved it here. And the reason why is because parts are still in Mark. A lot of it's still in Matthew, but then randomly it's here in Luke. It doesn't make much sense. So just to keep it in line with Mark and with Matthew, I'm going to have all the rest of this speech in Luke 17 to stay in the Olivet Discourse alongside Luke 21. And again, it's just because parts of it are definitely here. And the other parts may be here because of Matthew, but most likely they're all one speech. So if parts are definitely there and it's all one speech, that convinces me it should all be there at the Olivet Discourse. So I'm just going to go by Luke 17 and from Matthew 24, as it was in the days of Noah. But as the days of Noah were, just before that it said, but of that day and hour knows no man. That sentence began with, but of that day. So I don't think it would make as much sense to have, but as the days of Noah. I mean, that is how it goes in Matthew, but I have the option not to have that because of Luke. So I'm going to go with that. And as is both the days of Noah as it was in the days of Noah. So what should the order be? Okay, were here in Matthew as the days of Noah were that's in italics, so the timing I'm going to leave off from Matthew. I'll go with how Luke has it, as it was, and then 
the days of Noah are both. So shall also. So shall. Okay, so up until so shall, that's both. It be also. Matthew just says also. Matthew continues, the coming of the Son of Man be. Luke has, in the days of the Son of Man. I think I might be able to have both. In the days of the coming of the Son of Man. And the word be is at the end in Matthew, but... I can just say that it's also there in Matthew if it's the order of Luke. So shall it be the coming of. That's added in Matthew. The Son of Man is both. Matthew continues, For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking. Luke just has, they did eat, they drank, they married, they were given in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and the flood came. Marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and knew not until the flood came. Okay, so Matthew mentions the flood, for as in the days that were before the flood, all of that's extra. It's a little bit redundant, but... It's not a problem. For as in days that were before the flood, they were eating. So this they would be lowercase now. I could say they did eat or they were eating. They were eating and drinking. They did eat, they drank. I think I'm going to keep it the way Luke has it, because Luke also has, likewise also as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold. Just like how it says earlier, they did eat, they drank, they married wives. Matthew doesn't have the days of Lot. It only has the days of Noah. So if I went with the way Matthew has it in the days of Noah, I wouldn't have any option but to have it rendered differently for the days of Lot, which wouldn't be too much of a problem, but I think I'd rather keep them all the same. They did eat in the days of Noah, and they did eat in the days of Lot. So I'll go with that. They is both did eat. And I'm just going to leave eat from Luke, not say it's from Matthew, because eating is too different. They drank. They married wives. Marrying and giving in marriage. And giving in marriage. In marriage, I could say it's both. Until the day that Noah entered into the ark. Until the day that Noah entered into the ark. Alright, all that is the same. Matthew has, and knew not until the flood came. 
Luke just has, and the flood came. So I'll add from Matthew, and is both. Knew not until, now both the flood came, and took them all away, and destroyed them all. Okay, that's different. And is both. I think destroyed gets more to the point. They weren't just taken away, because you can be taken away and not destroyed. But destroyed means your life was taken away. So destroyed is kind of both, but it's definitely more extreme and more to the point. So I want to keep that destroyed. Them all is both. And because I'm going to have destroyed and not took, I'll have to leave off the word away.